Entertainer Cecilia Rodriguez began serving a one-year jail term today after pleading no contest to sexually assaulting two sisters in Los Angeles in the 1990s. And for the first time, we hear from the victims who say they're relieved the ordeal is over. KITV4's Jill Coromoto reports. Cecilia Rodriguez appeared at the Los Angeles County Court today to begin serving his 365-day jail time. In January, Rodriguez pleaded no contest to charges he sexually abused two young sisters in Carson, California in the 1990s. Rodriguez, one half of the famous music duo Cecilio and Capono, was charged with molesting the girls who were seven and eight years old at the time. Today, the victims, now 21 and 23 years old, had wanted a tougher sentence for the man they said was a family friend, but are glad the ordeal is over. It was a really difficult time for uh, me and my sister to come and step forward, um, especially being um, close to him for so long. But um, now that this has been brought to justice, um, we feel a lot more closure and brought us closer as sisters as well. During the time the sisters say they were sexually abused, Rodriguez was on probation for a 1994 attempted sexual assault charge of a girl on the Big Island. I hope that us coming forward, it was even though it was really hard for us, especially because he was so close to our family, that it encourages other victims that have experienced it with him or with anybody um, to come forward. 67-year-old Rodriguez had been out on bail until today. Accompanied by his sister and a family friend, Rodriguez surrendered to county sheriffs. And without saying a word in court, he immediately was taken to the L.A. County Jail to begin his one-year sentence. He's looking at serving, hopefully, approximately 85% of that time. Rodriguez was also sentenced to five years probation and has been ordered to complete 52 weeks of sex offender counseling. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News. Rodriguez will serve his sentence in California and he is also required to register for life as a sex offender. If he violates his probation, he may have to serve six additional years in prison.